What would you say are the main aspects, good and bad, of the Brazilian tax environment? Well, Brazil has a particular characteristic uh, derived from the fact that both federal, state and municipal tax authorities are, are able to levy taxes. So in, in a number of circumstances, taxpayers are required to deal with more than one level of government and, and if they have operations all over Brazil, they might be dealing with a number of different tax authorities. This, I would say, would be the main uh, bad aspect in a sense. In terms of uh, good aspects, I think uh, Brazil has a respectable uh, legal and court system, so taxpayers are subject to taxes which are passed through the legislature. Uh, this sets a level field for all taxpayers, and there are a number of tax benefits which are passed by Congress, passed by legislatures, and therefore the taxpayers that organize themselves to make use of these benefits can significantly reduce their taxes. The country has a large tax burden. What are the main challenges for companies operating in Brazil? Probably the greatest challenge are the filing requirements with all the different tax authorities uh, and that results in companies requiring a larger tax department than they would probably have in other jurisdictions. Of course, Brazil's tax code is constantly evolving as it becomes a more important global economy. What have been the recent changes? The most notable recent changes were the uh, introduction of thin capitalization rules, uh, limiting deductibility of intercompany financing charges, and the adoption of uh, the IFRS accounting standards in Brazil and the results, the resulting implications on the tax side. So how companies adapt to this new accounting environment for tax purposes. How does the Brazilian transfer pricing legislation compare with the OECD guidelines? They were inspired by the OECD guidelines. So when you look at the transfer pricing methods, they use terms that are similar to the terms used in OECD countries, but they have significantly departed from OECD in a number of aspects. Uh, the most notable would be the fact that it doesn't actually follow the arm's length standard. Um, so uh, a, an international transfer pricing study performed under OECD guidelines would not be sufficient to justify uh, deductibility of uh, charges or revenues for Brazilian transfer pricing purposes. And the country is modernizing, adopting new technology in tax management. What can you tell me about that? It's an interesting trait of Brazil. The, especially the federal tax authorities, they have focused for quite some time on the use of technology for tax purposes. So there is a number of tax filings uh, that are delivered electronically through the internet to the tax authorities. And the federal tax authorities use uh, their mainframes and software to cross-check all this information and eventually come up with assessments even without actually the need to visit the taxpayer. So the companies, knowing that, uh, that they're dealing in this, in this scenario, they need to be prepared uh, to, to anticipate this move by the tax authorities and do their own, uh, their own checks to make sure that all this information that they file is consistent with each other. How is Deloitte prepared to guide its clients through this difficult area in Brazil? Well, we can, we can assist clients in all different levels of fluency with uh, Brazilian tax matters. Uh, so since the companies that are entering Brazil and, they, and that require assistance with site selection, organizing their business, or even, even outsourcing their tax department before they actually uh, truly understand all the aspects of complying with tax in Brazil, to the mo much more uh, mature companies that are looking for alternatives to minimize their tax burden, control risks, uh, make use of benefits, uh, manage their tax issues. 
Finally, what does it mean to you for Deloitte to be recognized for its work in Brazil? It's a wonderful achievement. Uh, it, it's a matter of uh, great pride for us, it motiv motivates our teams, and it uh, demonstrates to our clients the, the strength of our practice. Carlos Nicasio, thank you. Thank you.